on the table today, we've got a Hydro Boost system. Uh, this Hydro Boost system is sold uh, at Vet Breaks and Products, and this uh, this piece has basically helped to contain all that horsepower that you uh, Corvette owners have. And I'm going to turn this over to Chris a little bit. He's going to explain the details to you on how this Hydro Boost, Hydro Boost system works. Thank you, yes. Paul. This system goes between your uh, your firewall and your brake master cylinder. It basically replaces your your standard vacuum. Uh, brake assist and it turns your, your brake system into a power brake system using the power steering pump. It's basically a hydraulic system. If you have a lot of cam in your car, if, you're, uh, if, if your car was a non-power brake car, uh, you can go through a dozen reasons why you might want to go with this. Or if you have a power brake car, the vacuum system, and you're looking for a little bit more edge, a little bit more performance, this will give it to you. It uses the boost pressure off the pump, applies it through this system, and multiplies it so that when you apply your brakes, it really locks down a lot of clamping force. You have to t you have to plumb it between your power steering lines up into the booster, and the booster includes this uh, reservoir right here. This reservoir will actually uh, maintain braking force for several panic stops, even if for whatever reason you lose your engine or you lose your power steering system. You can still make several panic braking stops with power assist. Unlike your vacuum system, that if your engine stalls, you no longer have vacuum pressure to help apply your power brakes. You can install these on non-power brake cars as well as power brake cars to convert them over. The system comes with all the plumbing necessary and hardware to do the conversion. Excellent system. Highly recommend it for your high-performance brake applications. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the HydroBoost assembly that we're putting on our Project 1969 Corvette. This is the assembly here. We've rough set the lines. We're getting ready to install it on the car. A couple points of interest about this particular unit. The HydroBoost can be made for cars that were originally power brake cars or non-power brake cars. This particular car was a non-power car and the assembly is a little bit different and the firewalls are different. So it's very important to make sure that the unit that you order matches the car that it's coming off of. This particular assembly will be mated to a, a new power master cylinder. It's recommended that you use a power master cylinder. We'll be putting a new one on as well as a set of new stainless brake lines to go from the master cylinder down to the proportioning valve. All of these are available from Vet Brakes and Products. This car is also equipped with a rack and pinion assembly. Whether it had a rack and, a pin, rack and pinion or a regular power steering system, you're still going to connect the hoses into the power steering assembly. It's actually pretty simple. The main power steering pressure line will come from the power steering pump into the HydroBoost assembly. It'll go out of the HydroBoost assembly and down to your hydraulic ram if it's a standard power steering or to your rack and pinion assembly. Also, you have a return line on your HydroBoost. The return line, as you can see here, is actually just a low pressure line that will come out of the HydroBoost assembly and go down to the return line on your steering. The way you make all this work is it comes with a three-way fitting that will tie in your return lines together back to go back to your pump. So the entire assembly works very well with your system. Again, it's very important if your car was originally a power brake car and you're going to a HydroBoost type system, you need to make sure that's specified when you order because it will have a different plate to match your firewall. Also inside the car, once you remove your master cylinder, your original master cylinder, whether it's power or standard, will have a clevis pin inside of it, and this will be going onto your brake pedal. All of that area will be removed. Your HydroBoost assembly includes a new pin, a new, a new clevis, so that everything underneath is fresh. This is also adjustable on the tip of the HydroBoost assembly so that you can set your brake pedal um, uh, feel and the play within the appropriate tolerance. We're going to go ahead and slide the assembly in. We're going to reuse the original bolts that come out of the firewall. The kit comes with new hardware to attach to those bolts. I'm going to set all this in finger tight for the moment. And these are the original bolts that your non-power master cylinder was connected to. And just below, you'll assemble the new grade 8 bolts into the same holes where the original bolts came out of the firewall. And we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. We have the Hydro Boost assembled now on the, our Project 69 Stingray. What we've done is bolted it to the firewall. 
We've gone underneath in the passenger compartment and actually connected the clevis and the pin to the original brake pedal and adjusted the play to an acceptable uh, point. All we have to do at this point is hook the master cylinder, but what we did do is we went ahead and ran all the hydraulic lines from the power steering pump that go from the pressure side of the pump to the hydro boost, from the hydro boost to the pressure input on the power steering system, in this case a rack, or if it had had a standard uh, power steering, it would have gone to the uh, booster valve on the standard power steering. And then on the return line, we have a return line on the master cylinder. We took that down and teed that into the return line from the rack assembly right back to the pump. So everything's hooked up hydraulically on that end. The only thing left to do is to put the master cylinder in. We're going to install a new Vet Breaks and Products power master cylinder. It's as simple as can be. At this point, the master cylinder is simply going to slide on. We have beautiful new stainless hardware, thank you Danny, that we can attach it all with. It sits a little bit further forward than a standard power brake system would on a vacuum. But there's also lots of room around here to work. <clears throat> if you have tall valve covers or if you have any additional modifications on your engine, there's plenty of space, plenty of room to spare with this particular setup. And once this is bolted in tight, we have to make a few minor adjustments to our, our brake lines, basically kind of bend and, and fit them. And they connect right back to our master cylinder and down to the proportioning valve. And that takes care of our entire hydro boost system. We'll bleed the brakes, take it out for a test drive.